Then we also hear a lot about the Syrian refugee crisis. And tell me what the thought is right now at this point in time, and maybe how does this crisis differ from some of the others down through the last, say, 10, 15 years? Well, I used to chair the committee that worked on the refugee resettlement uh, issue when I was in the United States Senate. Uh, right after 9-11, we really dropped the number of refugees coming to the United States because we didn't know who we were getting, and you normally cannot and do not know on refugees because they come from failed states or they come from belligerent states that don't want you to know anything or it's very difficult to get information about the refugees. So we dropped it down to nearly zero at that point in time just out of prudence because we didn't know what was going on and we really couldn't find the information out. I think that's a prudent move for us to make at this point in time given also that the terrorist groups themselves have said they're going to penetrate these refugee groups, individuals coming in to try to radicalize them. So the, the terrorist groups are telling us this is going to be a tactic they're going to follow. And so why would we use U.S. taxpayer money to, to help with that? Plus, I think if you want to really help the refugees in the Syrian region, let's go to the countries in that region and press them to take more refugees and help them if we need to financially. I don't think we really do, but to help them financially to resettle their refugees closer to home. And then if we want to take more refugees, let's go to places in the world where you don't have this mix of terrorists and terrorist organizations with the refugees. You know, Burma, there are a lot of Burmese refugees. Congo, there are a lot of Congolese refugees. Go to those places to, to fill your refugee numbers rather than out of Syria where you could really invite trouble uh, and harm in the United States. Well, thank you very much, Governor.